Hi guys, it's James here from Optics Warehouse, your night vision and hunting specialist. And today I have something very exciting to show you. For the past five months, we've been selling Hick Vision products and our trade partners have been distributing them throughout the UK. What I can introduce to you today is the latest from Hick, and it's not a thermal monocular like we've seen before, it's actually their very first thermal weapon scope. So, as you can see, I've got it set up on this dummy stock right in front of me, and the first thing you can tell about it straight away is its compact size. I mean, what more do you want from a nice little thermal scope that's just going to sit nice and neat on top of your rifle system, regardless of what it is, whether it be air gun, rim fire, sensor fire, this will fit on there quite nicely, and it actually gives you a nice amount of eye relief with the mount on, on the bottom as well. But I'll go into that in just a minute. So let's have a quick look at it and just work through it just to show you what bits of the scope there actually are. So I work from the back, you've got a nice little rubber eye cup. As I said, it's quite sturdy, so it's good up to, up to high recall. So if you're using out foxing and say, if you fancy foxing with a 308, then that's gonna take it, no problem at all. Standard ocular focus on there, focus is your reticle, which is key and critical to getting the correct shot. And then we move along and you can see nice little menu system on the top. You've got your main menu left, right, up and down. Of course, when you're out of the menu system, you've got your record function, you've got your zoom function, and then you've got here on the side, you've got the um, basically the recalibrate, which is obviously quite important for thermal imaging. If we look on the side, we can see that the power is um, by two CR123A batteries, which come as standard with the pack. And then on the other on the side there as well, we've also got a USB-C interface. So when you downloaded footage to the internal memory of the device, you can then put that onto your computer. Moving swiftly along, we've got the uh, front focus again adjustable for various distances. You'd be looking at sort of I'd probably say a 10, 10, 15 yards to infinity uh, amount of parallax, which offers up quite a range for for various different rifle systems, as I've already said. And then on the front, you've got a nice little flip-up cap which again, easily adjustable to wherever you want to put it. Nice and smooth, not spring loaded unfortunately, but you can't have everything. So you just close it up and we go do flick it up like that. And sometimes if it's raining, especially if I'm using thermal optics, I tend to keep the shade just like that, just to stop the rain interfering with the lens itself. As I've already mentioned, comes onto a nice one piece reach back mount held under by two screws underneath there. Of course, you can then adjust to where you want it to onto a Picatinny rail. Um, the one thing I will say is obviously whichever rifle system this does go onto, it must go onto a Picatinny rail. That's the way it's been designed. So we've had a look at the quick external features of the optic. Let's have a, let's have a chat about what's inside. So that's obviously the vital part. What people are going to be be asking about what sort of an image you can get out of this. Those of you that are familiar who have bought the Hick 35 will know it's a 380 by 288 17 micron sensor which is the same standard that you expect, say, from the Pulsar XQ range. Um, it is exactly the same within this unit here. Actually comes with a 35 mil lens as well, so you can think of it, if you want, as uh, the monocular um, morph morphed into the, into the scope, so to speak. You're gonna get the same style image that, um, that you get out of the HIC 35 Vulcan. A couple of reticle choices inside, picture in picture as standard. And then of course you've got your four, your four color palettes in there as well. Um, all of this guys, you will be able to see as we are gonna be releasing some footage of it very soon. Um, but to be honest with you, as I said, for a scope this size with a technology inside of it, um, it's a real no brainer in all honesty. It's a, it's a real fantastic piece of kit. I can't wait to get it out in the field. As I say this today, in all honesty, it's the first time I've actually seen one. Um, I've heard about it over the past month or so. So I've been really keen to have a look at it. As I say, I can't wait to get out in the field, get some footage for you guys, uh, and then we can have, have a bit of a chat about it then. But to be honest guys, that's pretty much it. This is the new Hick Thunder Thermal Rifle Scope, a sign of things to come, a very exciting product, something we're certainly looking forward to here at Optics Warehouse. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this quick fire review. I've been James, your night vision hunting specialist, and this has been another video by Optics Warehouse.